This sauce though? <laughs> Greetings and salutations, good people. My name is Otis James Bush Jr. This is OJB Cooking. So back in the day, I used to love me some olive oil. But it seemed like lately, it ain't hitting right. I can't tell if it's my refined palate or if they just fell off. I don't know. So since they're not making my favorite dish to my liking, I figured I would take a shot at making it myself. That's why today we make a stuffed chicken marsala. So what we gonna need? We got boneless skinless chicken breasts, of course. Got all-purpose flour. Got some fontina cheese. Got uh, a shallot. Got some mushrooms. Got some chicken stock. Got some uh, unsalted butter and some masala cooking wine. And we got some heavy cream. Got some assorted seasonings and a few other items that I'll link down in the uh, in the description area. And that's about it, man. We're gonna take all of this and hook it up. Come on with me. All right, good people. First thing we'll do is a little prep work. Go and get that out the way. We got ourselves a shallot, old shallot. And we just gonna chop that up into some little, little slivers, you know what I mean? Set those to the side, just like so. You know what I mean? Done. Got ourselves a few sprigs of thyme. Now, I didn't want any uh, thyme like, uh, you know, stems in, my, in my, my little mixture here. So I went ahead and did the little painstaking work of taking them off by hand and then giving them a good old chop. We got ourselves uh, some fresh parsley. This will just be for garnishment at the end. Won't go actually into the dish, but we didn't knock that out as well. And then we got some Fontina cheese. And as y'all can see, I'm on the struggle bus. I went ahead and flipped that on its side and we cut ourselves a nice, uh, you know, few little sections that we're gonna utilize later to stuff our chicken. Speaking of the chicken, we're gonna hammer out this first piece. Now, I did a few different methods. I hammered out my first chicken breast, just a turkey, just a little bit. And then I went in for my incision. Now, I didn't do my second two chicken breasts like this because I feel like it made it just a little bit too thin. Uh, but each way has its pros and cons, which I'll talk through. And I'll let you make the decision at home on which way you want to go. They both worked out. But not pounding out the second chicken breast, you know, allowed me to get a much better incision, as you can see. You know, just gave me a, a broader surface area. But they both worked out. There we go. Got in my pocket. You know what I mean? We're going to stuff these boys later. Uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and season up some flour. Got some garlic powder going in. Got some smoked paprika. Paprika. And then we got some good old salt. You know, didn't put a bunch, just trying to get a little taste on this. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy. I wanted the dish itself to carry. Oh, I forgot about the black pepper. Forgot about the black pepper. And go and get out a good old mix. Just like that. Throw your chicken breast in. I did two at a time. Uh, well, I did two and then one to be more specific. And give it a good shake. Yeah, just like that. And now that your chicken breasts are nice and coated, you're just gonna uh, fold up uh, three pieces of foil, and then you're just gonna stuff that foil inside of that, you know, the, the, the chicken pocket. Yeah, I mean, so that way when we go to cook these, you know, it didn't close up and leaves us plenty of room for stuffing at a later time. Now, alternatively, you could pre-stuff, but I found I found that you know whenever you stuff chicken and then cook it, a lot of stuff just come out. You know what I mean? And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Right now we got a little olive oil and some butter going into a pan. That's about a tablespoon of butter. And probably about a tablespoon of olive oil, one to one ratio or so. And then we just go throw our chicken breast on in here. Just like that. Just like that. Now I got this on a medium to medium low heat the whole time. Because with chicken breast, you know, if you ever cook chicken breast in a pan, you could easily have the outside looking, you know, very done, even burnt. And then the inside is just, you know, raw as it can be. So you want to cook this low and slow, you know what I mean? So that you don't sear the outside too hard before the inside can get done. Now we're looking to get these to about 165 internal, you know what I mean? Just to make sure they're done, not trying to kill yourself. And I utilize a uh, meat thermometer throughout the process just to make sure I'm getting to the right place. Highly suggest you have one at the crib. There we go. quite done and, and you know one of the pros of flattening out one of my chicken breasts is actually gonna get done a lot you know quicker than my other chicken breasts uh, so that's one pro to hammering it out you know what I mean the con to hammer it out is you know again you can cut through the chicken breast a little bit more easy on accident while you're making your sleep all right we're gonna leave these in the pan for a little bit longer to let them get a little bit more done again testing my internal temperature and as you can see these got a little bit more brown than I would have wanted but it's all gonna work out we throw them in this sauce and put them in the game. 
right? Now we're gonna bring our empty skillet back once we removed our chicken breast. And we're not gonna remove anything from it. We're just gonna throw some more butter in, about another tablespoon. A little bit more oil, probably about another mm, half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. That's about a tablespoon. And then we're gonna throw in our shallot. Shallot. Right, now you just gonna get us a nice good saute. And just like with an onion, you, you're looking to wait for it to get a little bit translucent. You know what I mean? So let that cook down just like so, about two to three minutes. And then we're gonna add our baby bella mushrooms. Now there's better mushrooms you can utilize, but my grocery store, you know, was on that BS. And baby bellas worked out fine, you know what I mean? Uh, but you know, definitely, you know, feel free to get, get loose with the type of mushrooms you use, depending on what's available to you. Get this a nice little saute. We got some uh, frozen minced garlic going in. I use three of these, that's about three tablespoons of minced garlic. Big garlic fan, big, big garlic fan. You can reduce that if you're not as big of a fan of garlic. So saute this on up. Letting our mushrooms get a little done, letting our shallot get done, and then we're gonna reserve probably about half a cup of the mixture to the side, and that'll be uh, to stuff our chicken breast later along with our fontina cheese. We got our thyme going in, get out a good mix. Speed it up, yeah. the video was getting a little long. All right, now we got our marsala cooking wine. Now, if you can find, you know, just regular marsala wine in the store, you can utilize that. But the cooking wine worked fine, came out great. And then we got our uh, chicken stock going in. As always, I'll have all the measurements down in the description box for y'all. Go ahead and salt that thing down to taste. And while that's coming to a simmer, we're gonna stuff these chicken breasts. All right now we got some slices of fontina going in. Take a little mushroom, throw up in that thing, you know what I'm saying? A little shallot. And we just gonna do that for each chicken breast. You know, I stuff these to the gills. You know, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't play around with it. You know, I, I suggest the same thing at the, at the crib. That way if a little bit fall out, you know what I mean? You still got plenty in the chicken. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Now we got some uh, heavy cream going in. Again, I have the measurement down in the description. Just gonna throw that on in the pot, yeah. Give it a good stir. And then we just gonna bring this on to a simmer. Now what we're looking for is to let the sauce thicken up a bit. We're not gonna let it thicken up quite all the way. Uh, Cause once we add our chicken breast, we'll, we'll simmer it just a touch more while it simmers down a bit. But you know, in the home stretch, as you can see, it's starting to thicken up a bit. and add these chicken breasts back up in there. Make a little boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, sauce them up. And then we just gonna let these sit up here just for a bit. Let the cheese melt, let the sauce finish sticking in it. And we in the game, baby, yeah. We gonna throw a little fresh parts on that. Make it look, you know, all fly. We in the game, baby. Yeah, we're not quite. We about to go play, but we still in the game. How beautiful that is, boy! Olive Garden could never. No favorite Italian restaurant could never. Hit it with a little name. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely got it now. Ooh, look how beautiful that is, boy! Like it should be on the cover of Bon Appetit magazine or something. I know you want a bite. You're like, oh man, can I get a bite? Of course you can. You can make it at the crib for you and your family. You know what I mean? Time to taste. All right, good people. Moment of truth. Time to test it out. See what it do. That right there on point there'll definitely be some notes down in the description here you know what i would tweak but yeah man this came out on point fire we're gonna do one more bite. 